Damn. Okay, what were you saying? I was asking your philosophy on therapy and what was your stance going to be? You said you're not medication. I get that, but you may have a patient that needs medication. Then what do you do? You need to figure that out. Yeah. You go along, I think that you will. Well, well, I know, I know that there are instances where people do need medication. So that's why I want to be a clinical psychologist, just, just for that. Your legs not even. Yeah, just. For, over. There you go. There we go. Just for that purpose, I want to be a clinical psychologist so that I can have the pot potentiality of delivering medication. Okay, but with if need that, be. your stuff has to be so fluid because there's no cookie cutter thing for that. And everybody's individual, so you have to treat everybody where they're at, and you're not going to be able to have a one cut thing for every person because it's, it's not going to work for you. Right. Right. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and and that's why I want to be this particular psychologist that I want to be because every other facet of it seems like it could get cookie cutter ish mm -hmm. um, hey oh you're experiencing these symptoms okay well here's the medication for this oh you're experiencing these things all right well here's the medication Even for this because I'm feeling the same thing that you are I could have a different experience as to got as to what got me there than what you have so if you can't give me what you would give you mm. Can give me what what actually works for me. Yeah, and it takes time to figure that out. I mean, I don't know. Right, but some people, I mean, there's some people who don't even want to be figured out to that capacity. They just want to come see a professional and get medication. I think everybody, in the end of the day, wants to be figured out. To where ultimately they don't want to be on medication to where they can handle whatever life's bringing them on their own without having to come see you. I think that is. If somebody's coming to see you, I think they want to get better. Otherwise, why would I come see you for? I can just stay in my own little world and, and I can get medication offline and not even come see you. Mm. You know, so if, I, if I'm coming to see you, or coming to see somebody, I, my goal is to get better. Mm. I would think. This is nice. Yeah. Welcome to vacation, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I agree. I think. I think. I mean. I don't know. Maybe I talked to a, 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 an interesting group of people, but I, I, I think there is a wide range. I think there are people who want to be seen. I think there's people who want to say that they've been seen. Like there's a validation of just saying, hey, I was seen by a professional. I've been professionally seen. That's true, too. Um, I, you know, so, yeah. Which is why I just want to, I, I, I like, I, I, the lane that I, I want to be in is just one where I have more um, leeway to, to administer help in whatever way fits the individual. Like my, my method is for more the individual than uh, just like a large population of people. Um, and I'm still figuring out how, how that looks. Um, I know you asked me a tough question. You were asking me about suicide, and you were saying like, uh, you know, if someone came to me, like, what was, yeah, what was the question? Yeah, I was asking you, you. You said that you believe that if someone wants to commit suicide, you're not gonna put a roadblock either way. You're gonna let them figure that out. But I'm like, okay, but why would you not want to be a roadblock? Or why why would you not want to give them the tools that they need to not commit suicide? You know, that's your job as a doctor, I think. If someone's coming to see you and they're suicidal, your job is to not to get them to be suicidal. I would think is that, is that's the end result. Get, I mean, let's have fun. I mean, it, su I feel like suicide, it, the, the thought of suicide is a, is, a, is a natural thought. I think it's a very human experience to, ex to, to think about it at some point in your life. Okay, I'm not saying the thought may not briefly cross your mind but for people that stay there and that's their wake up and go to sleep thought mm -hmm. every day all day that's not natural right okay yeah i agree with that okay so for you i mean I, I i can't really speak on it because i don't know what people are going through in their head like you know the people present that they're they may not be thinking things like that but some of the happiest people that this world's ever known have taken their life and so that that's kind of confusing that was just a mask but but that's what but i'm no saying one, no one was able to see beyond that mask but then you might see a sad person and he just lived sad for 152 years yeah and, and there's no cookie cutter thing as to what 
the symptoms are for, for that, but you as a therapist should be able to dive down into my psyche and realize that I've been all smiling and putting on, on this front. That's a fucking mask. Mm. But it's if, hard you're, if, me, if you're a but, good therapist. Yeah, but ultimately everyone's putting on a mask when you're talking to other people. Like um, when, when aren't, when, at what point are, 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 is a human being just being, just being? <laughs> like, when is a human being just being? When, 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 at what point, like when you get around people, when you go to the concierge desk at the front, you're putting on some form of performativism. Well, but that's just life. You need you, everybody, depending on where you at, you always perform in a role, whatever that is, it's for to fit into society. It's just how you fit into society. Right. So whether or not I'm happy when I go to the front desk or not, when I get to that front desk, I'm gonna put on the the customer Curtis face. And say hey, you know, whatever. Even though I'm inside, I'm looking like, okay, I, I can't stand this bitch. I wish she just give me the fuck I want, but I gotta talk to her. Right. But everybody puts on that little face when they're dealing with good things in society. And it's just how we get along, right? You know. So. So is, is it is it not within the fabric of our own very society that people are placing restrictions on their emotional wellness, like? If we have to be performative for, for strangers on a regular, consistent basis, um, then at what point does the human being uh, reflect upon themselves in a, in a, in a holistic way outside well, of when they're when alone? Well, that's when you have to find that balance. You have to find some time to shut down for yourself. Right. You can't stay on 24-7, so although I perform eight hours a day at work and you know, that I mean, I want to be there. You know, I mean, I like who I'm working with, or whatever that may be. When I get home, I should be able to be myself. I should be able to just let whatever bothering me, whatever it is, off my shoulders, put on no airs. It is what it is, kind of thing. Right. You know. And, but you know, that that exact thing is how is how I want to create my my synergy as a therapist right I want to I want my clients to feel as if they're in that state of being but well, that takes time to develop doesn't it I agree mm -hmm. but I also think that that suicide conversation um, when in that comfortable present state um, is a lot more jarring than people would accept, expect it to be and rather than try to combat it I just want to hear it. I just want to understand it. Because if I'm in like combat mode or try to make you stop feeling these ways, well, you mode, can't be that mode. I don't say you're even within your own, within your own uh, reality and world. I'm, I'm sure you probably thought of committing suicide. I mean, you know, life is life. So is a, a at that moment in your life, what was the pivotal moment that made you not want to do it? But made you say, okay, that was just thought, and I'm gonna go on to the next day and figure it out. Being whatever that was, I don't know what that was for you. I would say being uh, a coward. I mean, if if if, if I could just cut mm -hmm. through and just you know call it what it is, I think that it takes a lot of courage to take your life too. No, I, I think it doesn't. I think the opposite. I think cowards commit commit suicide. See, they're, they're not willing to face tomorrow, for whatever tomorrow may bring. They don't. They don't want to go through tomorrow for whatever. I think cowards commit suicide because they just give up. They don't want to face it. Mm -hmm. They're just whatever defeated. But people who go on to live the next day are the ones that are courageous. I think c courage can be seen from both perspectives. I don't think there's a. That's what I'm saying. Like I and genuinely, I, I, I like, like genuinely, genuinely, like to my core, I really don't think that there's a right or wrong. I don't. I just don't mm -hmm. like. And so that's why I'm. I'm just in the middle because I do think that there are courageous people who are choosing to live every day, and I do think there are courageous people who chose to not live every day. Like I think that. I think that those two people exist. I. I, I think oh, that, I, I know. I think, we yeah. absolutely know that they exist. But for the ones that don't do it, some of them are just too scared to. It's not even they, they, you a matter know. of being scared to. It's just a matter of realizing this is whatever is making me think that I need to commit suicide. This is temporary. 
I'm gonna get over this tomorrow. Or I'm gonna get over this next month. Or however long it takes me to go over this is a temporary state of mind. Why would I make a permanent solution to a temporary state of mind for? It? You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to end it off something that was temporary? Not and and for me to commit suicide, I'm only affecting those around me. Because I'm, I'm all of a sudden not there and I committed suicide. I'm, I'm leaving my traumatic state on people around me now because now they're fucking traumatized. Well, technically. Because they couldn't fucking see that I was whatever. I, I, I've committed a relationship suicide. I got we divorced. I we filed for divorce. Yeah. And, and, and everything you described can be placed in that same category like mm -hmm. it it ultimately is going to traumatize a person when you go through that process uh it, it you know the, it's a selfish act right um and so and it's a t it's a permanent decision permanent for temporary emotion for temporary emotion and so you know i i one would you know i just i i just i just see things so nuanced and you know, I, I really appreciated you asking me that question today because I didn't really know how to respond and I'm just like, let's just figure it out on the fly because mm. I do, I would like to know, you know, how I feel about the situation from a from an a applicable standpoint. Um, and yeah, I, I, I just, yeah, I just want to hear people. I just want to hear people and I, and I want to feel people and, and, and I want people to 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 be in the most logically sound state of mind, and, and 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 if I can assist people into understanding the logic behind their decision making process, I think that's that's the power that I I want to give to people is is their, them understanding their own logic, which is why I don't want to deal with children because children can never fully understand their own logic because there's always someone else to blame there's always a parent to blame my parent got me to school late which is why my parent was up last night which is why i couldn't go to sleep which is why i got f in class like you can always you can always push the blame that's on that's not only in, in children we have adults that are oh, yeah. also doing that today that's true you know that's true but so. once you're an adult you gotta sit you gotta yeah, stand in those toes a little bit you do but if you're like you're gonna only realize that if you're an adult to able to realize that everything that happens to me is because of what I did. Mm -hmm. You have to realize that. Yeah. Not every adult realizes that. Well, that's what that's what ultimately that that exact understanding is what I want to do with therapy is is help people understand that the power that they hold. I don't know if you can. I, I Ooh, that's them. fun. Tell me, tell me I don't why. Know you can. Tell because me why. Because you got people who, who, who refuse to take, who, who refuse to be responsible yeah. for anything that goes on in their life. Look at the blame. Yeah. White man, neighbor next door, had I had a car, had my mama had a did this, had my mama had a study with me more when I was a kid, I might have would have graduated high school. It's yeah. always something, either in placing whatever they did, and it's okay. I'm grown now. Whatever's going on in my life because it's what I am or am not doing. Mm -hmm. But everybody can't realize that. Oh yeah, there's always going to be people who are are set in stone, and yeah. that's that's their safety mechanism. Their safety mechanism is it's somebody else's fault. That's how they are able to go to sleep at night comfortably. Mm -hmm. Like the second, like it's a, it's so a. How tougher, do you combat that? How do you how do you get with somebody that that's in that realm? You, we we how do you we get start them out of that realm to be able to realize that everything that's in your world revolves around you right well we start well i well again i don't i don't tip, i don't necessarily have a a, a point plan mm -hmm. execution on how i'm going to do therapy just yet but if we're just going to shotgun it right now for fun mm -hmm. uh, i would probably start from the beginning of their childhood and then scale scale up to, mm -hmm. to where we are today and and then detail each descriptive conversation you want to go back that far I mean, if I'm getting paid, of course I'll go no, back as far as we need to go. Saying, but everybody, everybody who you talk to, gonna find some traumatic inc incident in their childhood as to what, whatever. Ooh, is like, there is there is there a, uh, 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 is there something in that 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 happened to you that you feel comfortable talking about that changed who you are as a person today? In my childhood. That you feel comfortable talking about? 
Mm. It doesn't have to be, you know, be whatever you whatever you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I think growing growing up, my my mom wasn't the most supportive mom, and I guess she was just giving me what she knew to give or whatever that may have been. So a lot of of her words were could be kind of harsh at times. Um, so I think growing up from that and being told certain things as I was growing up, you're not going to be this, you're not going to be that, because of this, that, and that, you can know, da, 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 da. And that kind of plays in your psyche to where it got to the point to me to where I heard that so much. So like, yeah, I'm going to fucking prove you wrong. Mm. I'm never going to fucking come back to your house again. <laughs> Although you think that I'm fucking am, I'm never gonna come back to your fucking house again. I'm gonna prove you wrong, and I and that's what I did when I left the house. I'm like, I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'm gonna survive my own. I'm gonna do whatever. I'm gonna whatever, and, and that was my fuel that pushed me forward to do whatever it is that I, that I didn't I didn't like. Did you? So your response to that was to develop a, a, a defense mechanism of of, in, of 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 independence. Of proving her wrong. Right, but th through proving her wrong, you were gaining your own independence. I didn't realize what that was at that point. Was just to prove her wrong. Right, right. You know, I'm going to show you. Do you think that? Have you ever talked to her about that? No. Okay, so you don't know if that was necessarily like a, a subconsciously concerted effort to I get you to it, get out the house. It may have been. It may have been her some kind of warped ass way of whatever to get me out the house or to get her children out of the house mm -hmm. or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Never, we never had a conversation. How did that affect your parenting style? I did the opposite. So I didn't belittle. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't demean it. I didn't. You know. I always breathe life into you. It was like, and then your sister. It's you dream it. You can do it. Nothing's limiting you for doing. You're smart. You're handsome. You're beautiful. You're this. You're that. I put those words of encouragement into you to feed you to to hopefully get your self esteem to boost to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did did you see? Did you see the contrast and, and the re, the responses from how you responded to? to yeah, how? I think I when I watch you know you grow up and I, I saw that you know the affirmation that I was giving you was really resonating with you and you was taking that shit to the next level each time like okay mm -hmm. so yeah nice nice okay okay. So yeah, I mean that that's interesting. Do do you do you still hear that voice? As a kid, from your mother to this day, like does that does that voice still speak to you sometimes? Maybe when you're not feeling, you know, as as upbeat as you you, you may want to. No, I, I think I've I think I have um, made myself uh, more than that. So I don't I don't continue. I don't still hear those words anymore. That makes sense. No, I good. think in my mind, I think I you know exceeded anything that she thought that I would have been able to be. So I don't I don't hear that. I think that I, you know, push myself to where I am beyond those words that she tried to instill or whatever she thought she was doing, whether she thought she was motivating me to be whatever, whatever. Yeah, when you when yeah. you kinda of psychoanalyze her from yeah. this perspective mm -hmm. today, yeah. what do you think motivated her to speak in those ways? I think that was all she knew. I think we raise our children as to how we were raised. So I can, and I know some of her childhood and I can only imagine some of the things that she went through. And I think Maybe she thought she was a step above her from what she was raised at and maybe she thought she was doing whatever and I'm not knocking what she did because she did a great job. She had eight kids. She did what she needed to do to raise eight kids. <laughs> you know, so um, she did a great job. None of us are in jail. None of us, we all finished high school. We, we all pr predict assistance in life. So fear of God was a church. So she, she did her thing. So I think that's what, from what she grew up as 
I think that was a step above what she grew up as. Did you have a moment of validation from her as an adult? Like, did she ever give you that no. feeling? Never? Mm -hmm. Was there a moment where you felt like it was coming and nothing? Or No, I, I don't. I don't. I never got that from her. I, I only got from her was things that you know. Well, you think you're better than everybody else. Or uh, I remember one time when we were in Ohio and I had you with me, and we were at Dwayne's house or whatever, and we just moved to the house in Columbus. And I think Dwayne had asked you something about whatever, or maybe one of the boys had asked you something about where we were living in Columbus. And you were telling him about the house in Columbus. Whatever that was. I don't even fucking remember. But anyway, somehow or another, that conversation got back to my mother. And she took it as, oh, he over there bragging about your house. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know? So I took that as that she, she thought that I thought that I was better than them now because. For whatever she thought that I'm thinking I'm living in a better house than what she's living in. I'm like, that was not the least his intent because I'm sure he can give a fuck less. He don't even fucking know the damn difference. Yeah, that's yeah. where he been raised. He just, somebody asked him a question and that was his response. And, and you taking it like that? Really? And I was like, okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, okay. You know, um, love, love, and, um, Love, love comes in different, many different forms, and sometimes people don't understand that mm -hmm. what they're, what they're, what they're acting out is actually is just their their feelings of themselves, you know, and their 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 projections of of who they are internally mm -hmm. and what their fears are and, mm -hmm. and, and and things that they're not necessarily the most comfortable about, and so sometimes it gets it gets triggered through through different actions that. You're like, where is all this energy coming from? But it's coming from here. Yeah. It's just being presented through here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you do you find yourself um, lessening yourself for the appearance so that people don't view you as someone who thinks that they're better than other people? I don't know whether or not I do that intentionally or that's just my nature. I don't think anything that I have or have gained, jobs, it is what it is for me. I don't think I'm better than the people who live next door to me, who live wherever. I, I just. So I find myself not wanting people to know my accomplishments, especially certain people within my family, because they're already looking at me like, you think you're better than everybody else. That is so far from the truth. I don't even think about any of this shit. It doesn't matter to me what kind of car I drive or where I live or whatever. I can go from living where I live at now to being in the fucking projects. And I'm good either way it goes. But people, see that and like oh you better than me. I'm like no I'm not you must think that because in my mind I'm not even thinking that I'm just living my life doing what I want to do I'm not trying to set, set no status symbol for anybody but mm -hmm. so I do find myself trying to kind of to trying to diminish myself a little bit for certain people in my family because I'm like okay so well, yeah I do you feel like do you feel like your humility is limiting your 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 potential? Mm -hmm. Like do you feel like okay? I'm still okay. being me. Okay. I'm not gonna stop being me. I'm not gonna stop doing what I want to do to get to or whatever that may look like for me. But you just be. I just don't. I don't let people know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I keep it surface level. Is that is that through 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 a connection to fear of some sort? It's not a fear. It's just that I know that they don't appreciate and they look at so me. So you know it, you know yeah, it. Yeah, I do know it. Now you know it. Yeah, and they're looking at me like I think I'm better than them, so I don't, I make it a purpose of not letting them know what I'm doing. So you've had more than just one conversation about mm -hmm. this particular topic. I have. How many times do you, I mean, not necessarily how many times, I just had like, it out here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I just had it out here. The other day I had it out here. And somebody had, um, 
you know, who's here, but yeah. and they had told me a, a conversation that they had with somebody, and I was like, wow. How does that make you feel when people are having these conversations without just, you being present? You no, know, it was like, you know, I already knew that that, that person kind of felt that way, but for that person to also voice that to somebody else as if it's like, wow. Wow, what? So Give me like, more. Just, Give me it more. It just lets me know that me I need to feed them with a lock and a spoon now, that you really can't be in my, in, in, within my circle. Yeah, yeah, but that's the, that's the second thought. Yeah. The, the first thought is wow. Wow what? Wow. Wow that I am not like who you think I am. I am the, I think, I try to be the most giving, unpretentious person that you could probably ever want to fucking be. I am so down in my mind, I may not be perceived that way, but in my mind how I operate, I am the most down to earth unselfish person you really want to meet yeah i done got bit by two dogs uh being <laughs> being non-selfish yeah. so i got it from somewhere yeah <laughs> so to hear that people think that i think i'm better than that and or I, you know this time the other i'm like where does that come from where do you think it comes from i don't know I mean, let's think about this. Let's think about people. Let's think about people. I think it's let's, just jealousy. Think it and that's what from? the person told me today when, when we had the conversation. They're just jealous of you. I'm like, well, but, but why? Yeah. Everything that I did, nothing prevented them from doing the same fucking steps. Why are you telling us what, what I hustled and grind to get and the shit that I went through for the last 40 years to go through to get? The stuff that I had to sacrifice to get to, not even with that, with you. The time that it cost me with, with you. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. This is great. This is beautiful. This is this is this is this is how you feel. You know, people. We're all human, and we don't. You know, we feel these ways, and uh, it is interesting. You know, like I just woke up, and then uh, all of a sudden, it just it just no. I went for some shit to get to where I am. <laughs> Sacrifices to get to where I am, and not that I did that intentionally. It was just whatever. So it kind of bothered me, and what I did for that person who said that about me, I'm like, I went out my way for that person. I purposely invited them into my house to let them do whatever. I was like, wow, to have them come back to and say that to the Bible, I'm like, wow, that was not my intent. You know, um, the people who are closest to you sometimes they they see your light and and it it makes them reflect on the light that they exude and so, Maybe so. and yeah. and that reflection that that internal reflection of self can be too too it can be too much to handle and and instead of and instead of and instead of reflecting themselves they have to they have to figure out a way to discredit what's going on uh for, for why they feel the way that they feel yeah, but that's just ridiculous to me. I know, I don't, I mean, I can't understand when someone it, it, has gone out their, out your way to invite you into their home and welcome you into their home and what you need, let me know what you need, whatever that may be, I, I got you, don't worry about it. And to somehow misconstrue that and, and, and be it to be like, you in my real aunt, she in my aunt, I'm like, what? Wow. Okay. I got it now. Yeah. I mean. And I'm one of the people, once you cross me like that, I'm done. Really? I'm done. Maybe that, you know what's interesting about me? When people cross me, uh, I will still allow them the space for a conversation. But we can have a conversation. Okay. I would never do for her what I did for her before. She would never get that level of whatever I gave her before. We can have a conversation. That's it. There is no coming into my space, me doing. Do you feel like there's a, I mean, okay, I understand. No. I understand. I'm going to be cordial. Yeah. I'm not going to treat her in any kind of way. I'm going to be able to be cordial with her and whatever else, but you would never get from me what you got from me. Whatever you think thought that you could get from me, whatever potential you could have gotten from me in the future, you you squash that. You can never get anything else from me. So, loyal, so loyalty is something that you value uh, as as 
top top yeah. top things in, 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 in especially when I'm coming from from a genuine place oh okay so okay here's a better question how would you have preferred them to deal with those emotions because those emotions may or may not be natural like we can't 